Hey viewers, my name is Martin Caballero. I'm the managing editor at BevNet.com and I'm here at Natural Products Expo West in Anaheim, California, the 2019 edition with good friend of BevNet and co-founder of Honesty, Seth Goldman. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Welcome. Another year, another show. Number 20 for me. That's fantastic. How's it going so far? <laughs> really well, really well. Really nice response. You know, it's funny, we brought some of these lower calorie drinks out a few years ago, and they're just still gaining distribution, so uh, really wonderful to have that. And we've just also launched these uh, lower calorie drinks in a kid size package, though it doesn't say kids on the package. Let's talk a little bit about that. We yeah. were talking a little bit uh, before we sat down here. Yeah. Sort of, this is positioned for a little bit of an older consumer to That's sort of right. help them graduate from the kids line? Yeah, to keep a continuum. We start with the toddler box, and we've got the pouches, uh, but we know that, you know, some uh, younger uh, uh, adults don't necessarily want to carry on a pouch. So how do we keep them continuing to enjoy our, our drinks and obviously the low calorie benefit, but also find opportunities to, to keep, you know, uh, keep them in, uh, inside the honest family. And zero calorie, I know, has been a focus for you guys. Obviously, sugar reduction right. is something that across the beverage industry yeah. we're seeing. How are you guys approaching sort of developing br drinks in that yeah. uh, segment? Well, you know, we've been at it for a long time in this space. And I would say um, part of it was the consumer wasn't ready that to, to go all the way to zero calorie. And now we see our Just Green Tea, which is now distributed on the Coca-Cola trucks, getting a great response. I would say we've also gotten better at finding ways to create zero calorie flavors that still have a full taste. And so our, our ginger tea and our um, pineapple turmeric tea, very low calorie, but also really a full and, and satisfying taste. Because just going to zero calorie and, and not really delivering taste is, is not winning with consumers. Now you mentioned a second ago about the glass being on the Coke trucks now. Yeah. I mean, kind of behind the scenes, but a pretty significant move for the company. How has that Absolutely. sort of changed for you guys? Yeah, so historically that had only been in the natural channel. And what we've seen as these channels blur and, and the consumers blur as well, uh, we know a lot of consumers want the glass bottle. And they want it in not just in a grocery setting. So to be able to get into food service settings with our glass bottle, we're actually going into some more convenience stores with it as well. That's, that's great for us, and of course, you know, we think great for the consumer. We always talk about democratizing organics. We want to make sure these products are not just available to the healthy and the wealthy. We want to make them available wherever beverages are sold. We talked a little bit, too, before we sat down about international growth for yeah. the company. It seems yeah. like there's a lot of stuff going on. Just give us a quick recap on sort of where you guys are focusing sure. or what's going on in different places. Well, we always had the vision or the aspiration to become a global brand, and, um, you know, with good reason for the first 15 years, we just needed to build a brand in the United States. But now that we're part of the Coca-Cola system, some of these dreams are coming true. And so we've seen a launch of the brand across Europe, uh, certainly Honest Tea, but also Honest Coffee. Uh, we actually have an Honest Lemonade launch that we're, la we're um, going to be doing in, in Europe later this year. And then there's some other markets that are, I would say, starting to build momentum. We've got some things going on in Australia and some parts of Asia. And so, you know, from my point of view, when you, we can sell tea to Asia, that's exciting. You know, sustainability is certainly yeah. uh, top of mind for you guys as well. Yeah. Um, what are some of the things you're maybe exploring or maybe problems that you're trying to solve for uh, with sure. sustainability and packaging? Well, certainly our biggest footprint as a company is our, is our packaging. And so we really are, we want to be, we, we've been leaders around sustainability and our sourcing. We need to be on our packaging too. One of the steps that just happened um, that we're excited about is our bottle supplier, Owens, Illinois, got certified as a cradle-to-cradle -cradle supplier. So normally when we talk about life cycles of products, there's cradle-to-grave. But when it can be cradle-to-cradle -cradle and with the certification to show they've really taken the steps to, to uh, make sure that all the proper steps are taken, that's, that's a really exciting development for us. One of the things that we're doing in Germany where we've launched is that we use a glass bottle that is refillable. So the bottle gets uh, sold, uh, the consumer gets to pick it up and bring it back to the place of sale gain a deposit, and then this bottle will be cleaned and refilled. And, and of course, that's, if we go back to the old Coca-Cola, you know, decades ago, that was what happened. And so, um, you know, normally a brand like ours wouldn't necessarily have the, enough um, throughput, enough sales to make it viable, but in Germany, they're, they're giving it a try, and I'm really uh, watching that closely to see, you know, if that's a model we might be able to think about in other markets. On an ingredient level, you know, uh, turmeric, obviously, a recent one, yeah. but where are you guys looking for in terms of uh, either functionality, flavor, yeah. what, what, what's catching well, it's your about eye? balance. Um, so I love the sustainability story around tur turmeric. We, we um, had a great trip to India just last year and really got to understand the, the story behind it, the, the way, it, the role it plays in the communities, and, and just a little bit, you know, the, the root grows underground for nine months, so same as a baby, so it's this incredibly um, nutrient-dense uh, ingredient. We want to make sure that we can deliver a story of great taste, 
Um, we, we, we won't make functional claims, so although some people talk about turmeric as an anti-inflammatory, you know, that's not a FDA um, permitted claim, so we've got to be careful. So, but when we talk about ginger and turmeric, which are both um, ingredients that people have a lot of positive connections to, then we can make it in, into a drink that tastes great, then that's, a, that's the right combination. That said, we're always continuing to explore um, other um, ways to bring new ingredients to consumers, and it's just got to be in the same context of low sugar and tasting great. Seth, thank you so much for your time. We'll catch you next time, and uh, thanks for joining us. Great to be with you.